Hello there, my YouTube family. How are you? I am Helen Sadler, your Destiny Helper, coming to you once again. First of all, as always, I like to thank you so very, 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 very much for being with me. Thank you for your tremendous support. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for liking and sharing the page. Thank you for the encouraging emails. I am so glad that these videos are helping you grow and expand because you are more powerful than you think. I got an email and one of the email was just uh, requesting me to talk about devaluation. What is going on with me? Why one day I'm up and the next day I'm down and one day he loves me and the next day he say he can't stand me. What is it? Devaluation is a tremendous tool that the enemy used just shy of gaslighting because devaluation takes something that is valuable and bring it down to its lowest market price. And so when you devaluate something, you remove it from its regular position and you cause it to descend. And what the narcissist does is cause you to descend in your mind. He take you from the highest level that you were when you met them. You met them at the highest level of thinking, the highest level of operation. I mean, you are on the move, on the go, or he got you at a low point where somebody died, where there was a trauma, there was a tragedy, and they came in to play the hero. And the hero lift you up only to let you drop. And so devaluation demeans you. But what caused the, the, the confusion is you don't know what you did to, to get the, the, the uh, devaluation, and you did nothing. It's the way they keep control. And what the, the narcissist did, does is he brings you up to let you drop. And because you are so connected to him, you are so believing that this relationship is going is a lasting. You actually believe, first of all, that you have a relationship and that this relationship is going to be a lasting, thriving relationship. Because when they was love bombing, doing the uh, idolization, I mean, everything and usually the devaluation comes right after the idealization because they don't pump you up and the narcissists start getting jealous of what they've done they start getting jealous of what they built and you're getting strength you're getting confident you love the relationship you're happy about the relationship now they are angry about the relationship to say who do you think you are you're not that. You're not that great. You're not that wonderful. But they told you how wonderful you are, how great you are, how marvelous you are. And now they're telling you nothing. You mean nothing because I don't mean anything to you. You don't care about me. You don't love me. You're just using me. You started using me from the first day. You knew that I was in love with you. You knew that I was vulnerable. You knew you had my heart. And look what you've done. And you're trying to figure out what I've done. And they tell you how you just crushed their heart. And they leave because narcissists have a tendency for the runaway zone. The runaway zone is when the narcissists leave and come back, leave and come back like a child. They go away from the house. Uh, you got a teenager, they leave home. Well, they don't have any money and they're hungry. And their kid's mom is tired of feeding them. So they kick them out. Guess where they're coming? Back home. Well, that's what the narcissists, the narcissists go get a new supply very bored with that new supply because you are the primary supply. The primary supply take precedence. And no matter what they do, they always think about the primary supply unless they're trying to replace the primary supply. And even devaluation don't mean replacement. It means deducements in rank until you understand who's the boss. And the boss is the narcissist. And so the narcissist makes sure he derank you all the time or she derank you all the time. She familiarized or he familiarized with your lower ranking status when it comes to them. But with all of the other supply, you bear the top side because you're going to get the worst treatment. You're going to get the worst devaluation. But they're thinking, yeah, but you got me. They don't have me and you have me and you have me all the time. And I don't want you to think that you can control me. So I'm going to devaluate you. I'm going to make sure that you know who's in charge. 
The evaluation is terrible. It's a mental block. It's a mental crash. It affects, if they did, took and put you and tested your brain waves under a sonogram or MRI, you will see the devaluation. It caused your brain waves to be erratic. They're going everywhere. And that's the way your emotions are going. Your thoughts are going. As a matter of fact, deep depression set in. Doubt set in. You used to be confident. Now you don't know what you are. You know what I'm saying? You have degrees. You have education. Uh, you are you are educated. You have a great job. You make, make fabulous money, and then you come in and boom! You don't know what you're doing because the narcissist he's telling you you're nothing, and you do you're hurting him. And every other relationship that was a mutual love, and uh, you could you could light their fire and just blow them out the water. Well, this one right here is still floating in the water. I mean, it's the bathtub, but they're floating in the water. And so this narcissist take and devaluate you. You are a diamond. And what they do, do is misjudge the diamond. So they give you less than what the diamond is worth. And then they take that same diamond and sell it at a much higher value. What do you mean they sell it at a much higher value? Because when they mirror you, they take your personality, your character. Because remember, a narcissist is every person they consume, every person they've been around. They are a, a, a little bit of everybody. And so that's why you never know them because they got to pick which person they want to be to you and which is the best fit for you. And then what don't fit that other person. Sometimes they get confused. That's why and we're going to talk about how the narcissist texts, you know, and get confused with that. And so what it does is the narcissist is filled with confusion about how they are. They have black spaces, black holes. Holes, and they're so filled with doubt. They're so filled with hurt and what attracted them. You got to be really wretched because there are some doctors that don't want to look at that time for a person who has good, clean character. They want the wretchedest person they can find. I mean, you can't find a mop that's been out for 30 years and in the dirt and in the mud worse than what they will find. And that's why you can see topside doctors you see who they're with and you can't believe it. You be like, don't come back here with those fleas. Come on here. And guess what they come with? They come back there with fleas, moss, and whatever else they can bring. But they have you so trained. Many of you are so trained until you don't want to rock the boat because you want to do everything you can to make a relationship work that is not working. And sometimes we override our wisdom. We override our consciousness. When you get the information, you get it at the highest level of strength that you are. And when you override that strength, all of that falls to the bottom at the lowest level that you've become. And so you, a lot of times, compromise your strength and you ask for strength, you ask for prayer, but you operate at the lowest level because when your maximized strength comes, your strategy comes, your wisdom comes, it may not be in agreement with your mind, but your heart is saying, look, this is what we're going to do, girl, boy, this is what we're doing. We're doing this. We're out of here. And a lot of times we, you, we, you don't do that. You override it. And remember, Anytime you override at the highest level, you will fall to the lowest level. At the lowest level, is sanctioned the narcissist that he's been highly effective. And it will come around again. What is effective with the narcissist, you will see it again. What doesn't work, the narcissist dismiss. And sometimes the narcissist will go from you, the main supply, because you, you're not hitting it right. And they're not getting it trained. So they devalue you so they can leave and feel free leaving and they go and get training with that same thing that they're not getting success with you they'll take it to another supply try it on them and if they don't work take it and then boom they hit target now they see oh this is what she's doing this is how she acts then they come back home to the main supply and start working on the pattern remember i was telling you about transcription and translation they rewrite your brain and that's why it takes so long because it's like being brainwashed it's like being in a cult they tell you what to think they tell you what to do they tell you what not to do they tell you who to be around they tell you what time to get up they tell you what time you don't get up and they devaluate you and so what happened they when they devalue you like that they you cook a dinner the steak was tender it was good i mean it was awesome and guess what 
the next day they can't stand this. They taste like a shoe. It tastes like an old rubber shoe. I don't want it. You did the very same thing that you did before when he was sitting there slapping like a pig. I mean, you could hear him in New York City if you were in California. That's how good he ate. And so the narcissist makes sure that at the level of sensitivity, that's where you're going to get hit. The valuation always hit you at the level of the most sensitivity because that is where they can create the most pain. And when they create the most pain with you, that's where they can get the stronghold. Strongholds are built from breaking down levels of sensitivity and increasing those sensitivity and causing confusion in the realm of those sensitivities. And when they're causing confusion in the realm of those sensitivity, you usually break. It's like a dam that's holding water back. Well, when you break that sensitivity, the dam open and what's hold, what's held back come. And what is held back is fear and terror because you don't know what to do. And I mean, you done invest so much. And that's why the narcissist also in the beginning get you the love bomb, the idealization. And I mean, they the grandeur. I mean, you get a rich narcissist. And I mean, it ain't nothing for them to spend five, ten thousand, twenty thousand on you. They're gonna get it all back. So it's an investment. So they invest heavily in you at first because this is the level of torment. Notice when the the narcissist, the investment, initial investment is gonna tell you the deep devaluation process. If it's high investment, it's high devaluation. And any pain hurts, but you don't you're not gonna matriculate like he get like you will with all the things that he put inside of you. Devaluation always positionally remove you. It psychologically remove you. It distorts you. It distorts your truth into what they want you to believe. It distorts your confidence into doubt. It distort your realm of success into where you don't care because you really don't have the energy. They done took all the energy away. That's why highly successful people end up poor with the narcissist or almost poor. And then when they get a strong woman, sometimes the narcissist, when they get the supply, they get a strong woman because that becomes the test. There's when they break down the strength of that woman, especially the greater narcissist and the upper mid narcissist, go after strength. Lower narcissists go after anything that breathes. And, and somatic narcissists go after anything that's going to make them look good, feel good. You know, and so you got different reason why they're after you. The reason why they after you usually is a di indicative of how they're going to attack you. The somatic going to tell you how bad you look. You know, you got perfect teeth and they'll tell you one in the back is longer than the one in the front. And you're looking at them like, where you get that from? And he'll tell you your hair don't look right. Well, yesterday it looked good when we were together. You know what I mean? When you was howling like a wolf. Yeah, it looked good then. And now nothing works nothing is together because they criticize you at your highest point. And you got to remember, most narcissists get what they think they deserve. So if they think they deserve life and it's fullness, they go after a woman that is fully charged, fully engaged. And I mean, she's powerful. She's beautiful. And her mind is sharp. The narcissist sit at the table and he's groveling. He is literally soaking to break her down. And the more he breaks down strength, the better he feel by with the malignancy that is on the inside of him. So when you are being devalued, you cannot devalue what is not valuable. Remember that. First of all, he's telling you your value. And he start to devalue you. He start to deduce your price tag on your character, on your mind. And a lot of you have agreed with them. Stop agreeing with the narcissist. They are habitual liars. They are magicians when it comes to the mind and the emotion. They will do anything to light your fire so they can blow it out. They cause forest fires and have to run out of the forest because they can't put it out. And that's what they do to you. They fire up your life and they can't put it out. And many of you have got to the point of almost murder where you wanted to hurt them. It is not worth it. Back up and think. Your mind is powerful. Use it. Maximize it. Get your emotions together. Give yourself breathing time. 
stop fussing about what doesn't make a difference because if you argue with a narcissist it's crazy because they're going to come out on top because all of that negative fuel that's what they want they want a reaction they will go to the extreme to get a reaction out of you and you're giving them that Boom, here come the devaluation. Devaluation usually happens just before the discard. And see, they're gaslighting, they're word selling. So all of these things that are happening, they are silent, they go missing, they come back up. You know, they, there's no surety. You have no guarantee. If you're looking for confidence in a relationship, you won't get it there because it's not a relationship. You love the narcissist. You have a relationship. The narcissist is having a moment with you. And those of you who've been married 50, 60 years and still have just as much doubt as you did at first know what I'm talking about. And can you imagine 50, 60 years of devaluation and then he finally discard you after 60 years of marriage, after 50 years of marriage, he makes the final discard, moves on and go get a younger primary supply and you are stuck with the years of his words you know how many millions and billions millions and probably billions of words that are locked in your head that he said through devaluation how much trauma he said through devaluation the pain that you received through the uh, devaluation you met him at 21 you're 67 and you, you got all of that to get rid of while he goes with a younger girl. And if he got money, he can look like a wolf. They'll take him. An alligator with shoes. They'll take this boy just nine feet walking up right, but it's still an alligator. But he has money. The younger supply will take him. She has no idea that that money is going to cost her almost her life. And you got 67 years in with no way of retrieving the time you lost. So now you got to pick up at 67, 50 years old and do it because you done gave most of your years to the narcissist who don't, who act like you've never been there. When the narcissist, especially the older narcissist, which we're going to do, do a final discard. Many people get comfortable because he's been there for 30, 40 years. A narcissist can discard you at any time. Even if you've been with him for 70 years, the 71st year, he walking. I mean, he's on crutches. He's on crutches on one side and the wheelchair on the other side. Probably got a walker behind him. And he's looking for something younger than him. First, you got to be able to get out of the wheelchair, bud. But if he got the cash, they got the trash. So think about this. Devaluation is horrific. It doesn't matter your education. It doesn't matter your class, your financial class. It doesn't matter your uh, social prestige. Devaluation happens in all relationships, male or female. Devaluation can be an opportunity of reconciliation. And reconciliation, that means you are taking and getting yourself back and you're reconciling your mind. And you can reconsider where you are and what you're doing. Take advantage of gaps. It's your time. It's your pull time, pulling yourself back together. Because devaluation would demean you. I know he told you he loved you yesterday. And now he it's almost like he's repulsed when you're in the room. You are being devalued. Place the highest level of value at yourself. You have to make up in your mind where you won't go. I am not jumping the bridge. That's detriment to me. I'm getting my emotions back. I'm getting my mind back. And I'm getting my value back. If you want a diamond at the highest price, you got to go to the right individual that's able to specialize in that jewel and recognize its quality. Or you're going to always get less than the value of what it is. You are more valuable. You are so unique that even if you're twins, it's one of you, even though there's two of you, there's something unique about you and then it's not with that twin. You are unique. The Bible said we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Know that for a certainty and do not allow devaluation to be a part of the game. When you're in it, 
There is a way through it, and there's a way out of it with strategy. You say, I have children. Yes, and that's why you use strategy. Yes, that's why you use wisdom. We're not talking about leaving. We're talking about progressing. We're talking about advancing until the moment where the door opens. Because when you are in a situation that does not change, you're looking at the rest of your life with damage. And you will always get less than what you're worth. And you will always be devalued. And one compliment today can be your curse tomorrow. And you don't have to do anything but be around the narcissist. And be in the same space exists where the narcissist exists and you didn't do anything wrong that's just the way it is and recognize what you are with recognize who they are and recognize they are not going to change because they don't want to but that has nothing to do with your progression you can build yourself yes it is not easy when the hurricane is going to run to safety but you may be the few that do. I believe in you. And you are very valuable. We're going to do another part as we go on down the line. And we will do segments of devaluation because these things happen so often. And so you need more than one video because there's so much information when it comes to devaluation with the narcissist. He has to deduce you down to where he can handle you. <laughs> Isn't that something? He has to deduce you to handle you. And when he deduce you, then he can handle you. That should tell you the whole story right there. I'm Helen Sattler. I'm your destiny helper. And guess what? We're going to win it every single time. I'll see you on the next video. And remember... Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and share the page. Get your friends on. You know they need it. Encourage them to come on. And then my daughter, Dr. Carmen Bryan, Overcoming Narcissist Abuse. Go to her channel. She's a licensed therapy therapist in Washington. She also does life coaching. Look at her video, Overcoming Narcissist Abuse with Dr. Carmen Bryan. You will love her. You like this video, you will really love her. And please feel free to email me at destinyhelper12s at gmail.com. Destinyhelper12s at gmail.com. I mean, I get hundreds of emails, but I promise, I promise, I promise that I will get in contact with you if you write me. Destinyhelper12s at gmail.com. Um, I do coaching sessions, so you're interested in it, please write me and leave your uh, phone number and expect a call, and you and I can discuss the process. So, destinyhelper12s at gmail.com, and write me and let me know whether you want the sessions with me, and I am, I will make a, a, a point, my schedule is usually pretty full, but there will be time for you. And so just write me and let me know. Don't forget to leave your number and expect a call. Love you. And remember, devaluation is a recognition or reconciliation and reconsider your circumstances and to reposition your mind. You have to reposition your mind in devaluation because it is tremendous on the body. It's tremendous on your nervous system. It's tremendous on your sleep. It's tremendous on your social system. It gives and lends itself to manic depression. And it can alter your thinking, alter your reality, alter your mind. Many of you have lost weight because you cannot eat. Your stomach is upset. Food doesn't settle. You changed your whole menu. You're finding yourself getting away from friends. You're isolating yourself, which is horrific. That is a number one mistake. Do not isolate. When he may isolate you, but God will open up a door where you can connect somewhere with somebody. And so do not isolate yourself. Devaluation is demeaning and it's meant to take away meaning out of life. It is demeaning. And so most people get caught in severe depression when they're having um, devaluation uh, processes 
with the narcissist and he's taking you through all of these channels and each of these channels and each of these chambers that he take you to with your mind is darkness and each has a timeline that he pulls you in she pulls you in and take you out so they're taking you through mediation of how they want you to be and that is not who you are you are loving you are powerful you are anointed you are purposeful and that is life and life is huge and it's big and it's in you still even if you can't see it keep listening to these videos Keep listening to Dr. Carmen Bryant. I promise you, you keep listening to us, we're going to bring out that beauty that's on the inside of you. Young man, young woman, get up. Refuse to die and refuse to isolate. You get up and come with us on the next video. Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Love you. God bless you.